hey everyone welcome to a brand new course which is related to a learning management system now in this course we are going to basically create an lms where that will be kind of a similar to udemy if you have already uh, seen how udemy works so that that's how we are going to basically uh, similar to that we are basically going to develop a system now in this system we are actually going to use the pure laravel okay and we are also going to use the javascript as well not uh, vue.js or react.js nothing just a plain javascript and laravel now in this application this is basically um, this my, uh, this will be a really large course and definitely um, a, a large series and that will cover all of the modules that are basically required to complete the lms so let's get started with the modules first so let me just show you so the first thing is basically we will have the user management and dashboard so definitely uh, we will have three categories of users the one are will be admins the second ones will be the instructors and the third ones will be the students and you might probably have guessed like those three uh, roles will have their own definite uh, basically the responsibilities and access and authorizations after moving to user management we have definitely user roles which i just talked about uh, then obviously based on user roles we will also have a certain limit of access for different sort of users um, then we will be able to like import and export the users on bulk settings we will have a dashboards for admins we will have dashboards for instructors and we will have dashboards for students as well obviously all those dashboards will be definitely different for each uh, of the role and each of the member then we have uh, basically the profile management definitely where we can uh, every person can manage their profiles and update the stuff on that uh, then we will have the instructor dashboard so inside the instructor dashboard we will allow instructors to basically create courses and then they can uh, inside the courses they will be able to upload the videos or pdf or whatever they have so they will be able to do that um, then moving on next we will have like the course and content management so inside that we definitely have like the course creation we will be able to uh, we will support the instructors to upload their multimedia images um, YouTube, uh, sorry multimedia images uh, videos and uh, we will also have uh, different sort of other resources like pdfs or doc files and stuff like that so we will also allow them to basically upload uh, onto the server moving on we will also have the course categorization and templates so basically like the courses will have certain type of categories and uh, they will uh, have their own uh, uh, categories so for example it is uh, related to web development course or ai courses and stuff like that so similarly how udemy works and moving on further we will definitely have the option of uploading images like uh, drag and drop the content uh, then we also will have the access and certification so yes so definitely we will also allow the instructors to basically create quizzes and based on quizzes they can mark the students so automatically definitely those quizzes will be uh, auto generated so not auto generated in a sense that they the quizzes will be auto generated but the quizzes will be marked automatically okay and moving forward so here you can also see that the grading and feedback so uh, definitely the instructors will also receive the feedbacks or reviews so based on their courses from students um, they will also have the certificates as well so once the course is completed so the students will be able to uh, students will be eligible for certain certificates so that that will be only in such scenarios where the courses will have uh, certifications all right so once the course is completed all the quizzes are completed so i definitely at the end they will receive the certificates or badges as well so this is basically a other level of uh, advancement in this course all right so this is basically just an 
overview of what we are going to build in this series um, but definitely if i have missed something that doesn't mean that um, uh, th those things are not in my mind so uh, this is just an overview of how this course will look like how this series will be uh, progressed and definitely uh, one more important major thing is that we are definitely going to build this whole application using laravel all right so this is basically the introduction and i hope so like you have uh, enjoyed the uh, course contents so that's about it and i will see you in the next one